Bruce, this is really coming together now. Now this is a, this has been extremely challenging finding the numbers where to locate this at because the wood I have, there's some inconsistencies in it. it it's not exactly like the other side. The other side of the car is, is a different length than this side of the car. Everything about it, so there's just no way to generate these numbers other than coming off of what little bit of damage Jerry I had right here, which was that spot, and then nothing at the rear. So the placement of that rear cab corner there, there's a lot of factors involved in, in the overall complete location of that because the way it comes around dictates the way the side of this car is going to be. The way it goes around the back is going to dictate the back. The angle it's on is going to dictate the, uh, the way the bumper and all that. I mean, there's just so much going on right there. It took me a minute to uh, figure out the best location to put it, being I had nothing here. So now that I've got this in place and I've worked it to right here and, it's, and it looks really good. When you stand back, it looks good. I've allowed enough room to move the wood around. I've got it uh, blocked off to where I've got distance. I go in and out of wood. I've put a lot of safety factors in with that. But now, the only number I have in the front from this point on is this one. And this one is false because I don't know exactly where it's going to be in relationship to the side of this. But I'm trying to make this thing have a, a nice, smooth radius. And that's what it needs. But then right here on the woodies, it's narrower in the front. So this front end is what they would have on a, a car, like what you got back. And then all this was uh, outsourced and made at a different location. So that makes the only number I have for the uh, location of all this and the angle that it lays in without even having a rocker panel is this one little piece right here. So to get this one little piece located, I've, got to, I've had to set all this front end, lock it all down, and get this fender as close to exact as I need. I've got a good number down through here and I'm kind of guesstimating where it goes here and I think I got that. Uh, this side's got to turn just a little bit to, to do my arc, but once I get it there where I want it, that's all I have to finish this out. Uh, I have these rocker panels. This is off of a car. It's, it's, it's shorter, so, uh, and I've got to get that, it's got to have a radius, a football shape from here to there, and then blend into this piece, which is a little straight, so I'm going to have to shrink this and put just a little bit of radius in it and then come up with the number of where, it, where it's going to lean at. I don't know what the lean is supposed to be that'll look good that will translate over into there. The other side is completely wrecked and gone so it's pretty much up in the air. So uh, that's what I'm up against. Alright now I've got your wood cut. I know where it's going to be up here and front and rear and I've got it cut on the bottom in a straight plane but I don't know the exact location of the bottom of the door in relationship to the door seal yet. So I've got your bottom door seal that came with your door seal kit and luckily it has this uh, and I have the uh, retainer so I can tack this any place I want. And, uh, but the problem is the rocker, your door has a curve to it and the rocker panel is, is off a car, it's the only one we can find. It's not as much of, a, of an arc or a radius there. So uh, I think I can use some of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it all the way down through there and that's just going to give me this radius and this 90. And then I'll be able to shrink this and get the arc I want and then start fabricating this up. And then once I get this fabricated up, I can get back to doing the wood in this lower part around the front fender. All right, Bruce. Uh, I'm glad you ran and got those door seals because I'm using all this to mock these doors up. So I got your bottom seal and the retainer strip we got from Tom and uh, got it where it fits right on the door. So I know exactly on the door where it needs to strike in relationship to the inner seal uh, landing, which I'll use that uh, later on. Now that I know, know the numbers and how I'm going to get all this, I'm just going to locate uh, this up in, on the door and locate this in the cab to where that door seal lands, just like that. So you open the door, bam. Um, so I'm going to pull off of that and now I'm going to go and cut this right down through here. And then I'm going to shrink this edge right here and make it match the outside of the wood. And I'll probably go ahead and work this piece on into the side, then do the wood, then do the inner seal, because I can really put that inner seal landing uh, uh, just about anywhere I want, really. I'll make it, uh, I'll probably make this section as wide as possible. Um, and then I also have that finish strip you have. I need to factor that in on the look. So Mike could make the top of this that exact uh, inner trim piece. So uh, we'll see on that. 
But meanwhile, I'm gonna cut this in two and then we'll shrink it on this outside and we, this is gonna work out good. All right, now I've got that off. Uh, this, this piece now, I can put pretty much anywhere I want. So I'll just locate that in and make that door seal work out nicely and have those uh, indentions in it for strength and it'll look good. Um, now I'm just, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit where I've got this one cut. And I needed a little more of an arch in it. So uh, I'll just do that with that shrinker. Make this just like the outer radius of the wood and uh, just gotta add to it, which won't be no problem. Uh, might try to stretch and roll it out a little bit in here, but it's already got a little bit of a, a football shape to it, so I might not have to do much with it. That worked like a champ. I marked it out here one, two, three, four, five times. Went back there, put five little shrinks in it, and then dollied that out. Uh, tried to get the shrink marks out and then set it up in here. First time. That is beautiful. And uh, I've, I've got enough, I have enough wood to, to cut to that, but that is just beautiful. Now all I gotta do is make this little back piece and that's gonna locate that piece and we're gonna go on with it. And then with cutting this piece off, I'll be able to locate it right where it needs to be in relationship to the door. And then weld the uh, seal tack strip on there where that strikes perfectly when the door closes. So uh, this is really, really working out good. And then I just have to fill in the gap between these two, however that comes out. So, I hope you can see that in the camera. That's sweet.